Sang Lee. Thank you so much, Sang. I'll take that. Nicely done. Uh, we got any gamers in the house? Anybody, uh, any gamers? Call of Duty, anything like that, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is actually part of uh, Rockstar Games, so is Grand Theft Auto, and uh, even go back to uh, Guitar Hero. And one of the guys who actually helped create Guitar Hero is here right now. Make some noise for Kelly Sumner. Good afternoon. In 1985, an Italian plumber made in Japan, reinvented the video games business when a little-known Japanese company called Nintendo launched their own video game console. The Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, was truly a game changer. Nintendo, followed by Sega, Sony, and Microsoft, turned a $10 billion lifetime business into a $138 billion yearly business today. I began my career in video games business right here in Miami at a small, uh, at, uh, in Adventura at a small company called GameTech. I merged GameTech with Take-Two and that was the real game changer for me personally. In fact, I'd already completed a 13-year apprenticeship at Commodore before that. And so, over the course of nearly 40 years, and it will be 40 in June, I've been involved in hundreds of games. Over the course of the next few years, as founder and partner, and then as CEO, we built Take-Two and Rockstar Games into one of the most successful publishers of all time. With Grand Theft Auto, Max Payne, Red Dead, NBA 2K, turning our $8 million IPO into a multi-billion dollar company. In 2003, I joined Red Octane as a non-executive and then became CEO. Red, Oct Red Octane was a startup who made dance mats. Shortly after I joined, we came up with an idea that was to become bigger for Gra than Grand Theft Auto for a short while. It was Guitar Hero. It sounds simple now, we made dance mats, and you can see it was simple to add a plastic guitar. You make music with a guitar, not your feet on the dance mat. Simple, but very effective and created a billion dollar franchise. In 2006, I sold Guitar Hero to Activision for $155 million. In those days, it needed one of the big boys to maximize the opportunity. However, had blockchain and mobile gaming existed, would have utilized it in Guitar Hero, and it would have undoubtedly sold millions of more copies, and we could have taken more of the profit. And that's why, I'm here, that's why we're here today, to celebrate the many ways that blockchain can change the world, including the $138 billion video games industry. That's why I'm also so thrilled to be here today as a board member and advisor to Planet Digital Partners, and share with you our thoughts on how blockchain will have the same massive impact on gaming as the internet has. Over and above Planet, I'm also chairman of Mediatronic, who work solely on mobile gaming and have just completed Gears of War for Microsoft. So although I started at Commodore in 1979, I'm far from bored with this incredible industry. Planet represents an amazing collective of some of the most successful video games management, development studios, and distribution and marketing executives in the industry today. From the former president of PlayStation, industry analysts, blockchain visionaries and developers of Halo, NBA Playgrounds, Friday the 13th, at Quake, and of course me, I believe we have created a winning formula. We also already own several hit brands, including Bass Pro Shops, Cook and Mama, and Kabilis. These games have generated over $300 million in sales already, and Planet will publish new releases of these games that fans have anxiously been waiting for. Blockchain technology has seized game developers' imaginations, but implementation has remained limited to digital ownership. At Planet Digital, we recognize the amazing opportunities of blockchain's capabilities, and how incorporating the technology will enhance the, our users' experience and create new revenue streams. And here are some of the ideas we intend to integrate into our blockchain-enabled games services. Fraud is a huge issue in gaming, and the advent of unique blockchain private keys will secure each purchased copy of a game, 
provide unique IDs, unique IDs for each player's purchases. Planet will be able to seamlessly integrate blockchain technology by internally managing these keys for the player. Basically, we will manage the process for them and make everything very simple. Traditional digital rights management limits the ability to copy games, while private keys on blockchain allow easy registration. This provides greater proof of ownership, while also allowing the owner to resell PC games both digitally as well as in the traditional retail outlets. Unique expressions of blockchain private keys makes every copy of a game subtly different and personal to the user. This feature utilizes private key to exchange uh, sorry, to change expression algorithms for characters, NPCs, enemies, terrains, items, and other game features. Every copy of the game will, be, will express these features in unique but repeatable ways. Secure and online tournaments through blockchain will also create greater transparency and provide anti-fraud assurances for gamers concerned about hacks and cheaters. Think about the promotion events and online tournaments where players' records and participation, participation can be tracked while maintaining privacy. In addition, hashes of the running game can be recorded to ensure the game has not been altered to create an unfair advantage. Secure tournaments will encourage greater player participation, now on a level playing field. Digital, asset reward, digital assets rewards recognition via blockchain technology allow players to go beyond just owning their own in-game items. Planet Digital will expand these, expand these services in a variety of ways to allow users to be rewarded with in-game currency, points, and other items to earn recognition and certificates. These rewards could be provided in-game via other players or third parties that host tournaments or other promotions. By combining these exciting, innovative blockchain concepts, Planet will be able to create a new gaming experience, unlike anything provided so far, with new possibilities of revenue and replayability. Just think about this. Players will compete publicly with permanent consequences to their characters. Each new character experience and gathered equipment will show permanent visual changes based on in-game events. By recording events to the blockchain, Player rewards are digitally real and bolster a player's reputation. These players will compete in the in-game arena and over, over stream for viewers. Champions will rise through the ranks, garnering fame and rewards from the public. Viewers could be able to do more than comment and tip players in the arena. Now, through rewards earned in their own games or purchased through a game store, viewers may influence the games they are watching. A viewer could provide benefits to favorite players, or even punish those who have wronged them in their own matches. Blockchain digital IDs ensure only players who have valid copies of the game can directly influence matches, preventing spamming of games and encouraging a robust community. Viewers may tip players through, game, through the game or other platform currencies seamlessly. These funds can be added to the arena purse, creating a real, real incentives for players to win. Viewers can utilize their own digital, asset bombs, uh, digital assets, bombs, etc., to influence the match. Viewers will throw these from the crowd to assist or harm players and truly interact with the match. Fill the roar of the crowd through the measurable audience segment recorded through blockchain signals of viewers watching. The viewer's overall engagement could tip the scales in the player's favor or spell disaster at a crucial juncture. It's like going back to Rome but where you can really help your favorite gladiator or player. You can create a new player experience to expand the world for all. Users will no longer rely exclusively on studios to release new updates, and they can create custom updates and register them via blockchain to make them available for players to duel and compete in. Creators will incentivize players through prizes and see their battlefields ranked by others. Some creators will become the games masters, famed for their clever and unique battlefields. However, even the Games Master does not control all fates. These fields will be subtly altered by the expression of blockchain IDs from both players and viewers alike. Enemies, items, events, and terrain will be changed by these attributes, creating infinite replay and unexpected challenges. In summary, blockchain will literally change gaming, make it more fun, 
more creative, more fair, and more secure, but just massively more exciting. As you can imagine, black blockchain technology is set to take games to a whole new level, and Planet intends to harness this as a major component of its development strategy. The technology is just one element of why Planet will succeed, and here's another reason. Today, major publicly traded games companies, including Electronic Arts, Take-Two, and Activision, focus on developing big-budget games that cost hundreds of millions of dollars with a hope of creating billions of dollars in sales. But there's a large segment that these companies admit by design. Their narrow focus ignores games that cost less than $10 million to produce and that can achieve sales in excess of $50 million, which is meaningless to them, but meaningful to us. It's meaningless because $50 million sales does not move their stock price, and these companies are slaves to their shareholders and they'll miss out on some of the more interesting opportunities. We call this opportunity our sweet spot and the foundation of Planet Digital's security offering. Today, worldwide game sales are bigger than ever, and there are many more income opportunities than before. Consoles, mobile, streaming, PC, Steam, cloud, and network gaming providing a diverse revenue stream with annual sales growth of 11% plus. Planet Games will publish on all major platforms including PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PC, and mobile, and new platforms such as Xbox Two and PlayStation 5. Planet investors will own a majority share of net profits in up to 10 games as partners on the ground floor, versus public shareholders where projected sales are already included in the share price. Planet will release up to 10 games beginning fall 2019 through 2022, in release waves to create a, st a steady stream of dividends to its partners. The estimated net profit, for example, on a box or downloadable product today is currently $15 per unit. Investment recoup via dividends has been structured to, in favor, to favor investors, with 80% of net revenue paid to investors until they have recouped 100% of their investment. After recoup, we will pay 40% of net revenue and also 5% on any game sequels based on the original 10 games through 2025. Investment break-even could be as low <clears throat> as 300,000 units per game on a $5 million cost spread across multiple game platforms. So you really do share in the success of the games Planet releases. Planet investment... <clears throat> Planet investment will be fueled by our rocket token, a digital security that allows investors to participate in the profits of the games. It's expected that the rocket token will deliver returns to token holders starting in first quarter 2020 via dividends. RK, RKT tokens will be tied to every game, and as more games are released, token holders will continue to recognize profits from the library of games. This will create a layer of dividend income on top of the potential appreciation of the rocket token itself. To ensure success, Planet has already assembled a team that has already been highly successful across all key areas of the gaming industry. This talented, experienced team is well positioned to deliver profits to Planet partners. Although the big boys like Take-Two focus on their franchises, we know how these franchises started, as games generating millions of dollars, not billions. When I purchased Grand Theft Auto from BMG Bertelsmann in 1997, it was a game that had generated less than $2 million in revenue. Guitar Hero was not even an idea when I joined Red Octane. We invite sophisticated investors to access the highly lucrative video games industry on the ground floor. Utilizing a digital security token offers a way of getting into gaming and blockchain technology investments and feeling you are part of it, unlike with publicly traded companies. Investment in Planet's rocket token is limited to 38 million tokens at launch, price of $1. Join us for the next phase in this amazing gaming industry. Thank you very much.